Lyndon Cameron, and I'm here to discuss my road to passive income. I started this new channel because I started a new blog because I'm like freaking excited because this was an unintentional event. For probably the last three and a half years, I've been making money online actively, not passively. I've conducted webinars, uh, conference calls, one on one personal consulting. And I've written several books. That has been the source of the income. But a few things happened along the way. There was a time that a good friend of mine, my business partner, who passed last year, I was able to help her, you know, with her transition. And I didn't really work for six months, but my income kept coming in. And by no stretch of the imagination do I have the type of passive income where I could just I'm going to retire and I'm not going to do anything else. It's not like that. But what's really curious about this is I wasn't trying to do it. It just happened. But it got me to thinking, what if I tried to do it? Because I'm an old school guy. I came from you buy stuff, you sell stuff, a different kind of business model. You know, I, I've owned a few companies where at one point we were literally shipping furniture in from China and other places and reselling it. And the whole business model is you spend a lot of money. A lot of money. I remember being up to my eyeballs and dead every month because until the account receivables came in, I was broke and just seriously in debt. Then, you know, people would pay, then money would go back out, and then what was left over was mine. But because the account receivables and the debt was so large that when the bills were paid, I was making more than an average income. But when you looked at the money that passed through my hands, it was kind of, it was scary. Because any month, I could go out of business. That's how bad it was. And a lot of people are in that situation because, say they have three or four bad months, it's over. Well, with the new business models that are coming with the internet, you don't have these massive outlays of cash to make cash. And it's very, very exciting. But the thing is, because it's the internet, what you do, whether you want it to be or not, is very transparent. So if you're doing something that works, people will copy you. It's not something that you think may happen. It's a matter of time if and when it will happen if what you're doing is successful. That's just how the internet rolls. Because people can peer behind the machinery, pull back the draperies, lift up your skirt. They can do all kinds of stuff and figure out what you're doing, which means you always have to do more. You always have to be in the creative mode. And that used to irk me, but now I look at it totally differently. Because really, there's nothing new under the sun. It's just that someone is doing it a little bit better or bringing a new perspective to it. And with that, the internet is full of opportunities. So on this channel, what I'm going to discuss is my journey. And I'll give you just a quick synopsis. July 17th at 1515, that is 315 for non-military folks, I decided to become a writer because that's the, the the cornerstone of everything I do. It generates from writing. And I wrote a book in three months, The Ultimate Guide to Self-Storage Options. I turned it into an ebook, and I also turned it into a print book. And I sold it on my blog. Made a lot of mistakes because I had never written a book before. And every mistake that you can say, I made it. And I'm going to tell you. If what people tell you that if you write a book and you make mistakes that you'll never sell another book again, ignore them because you will. Because after that book, I wrote another one. And it wasn't as bad as the last one, the first one, but I could do better. So I wrote another one. And then I wrote another book and, you know, it was essentially making money A to Z with self storage and auctions. And there's two editions of that book and it's selling very well. Then there's Pimping Craigslist for Fun and Profit. The ultimate garage sale, the dot, the porn's always in the DVD player, and the urban pack red blog. And essentially, I put in hours and hours and hours of work. But because I put in all that work on the front end, and understand, anytime you're talking about passive income long term, there's going to be a massive amount of work on the front end. Understand that. And understand that the work you do today could potentially pay you tomorrow. You cannot look at it as, I worked on Monday, I need a check on Friday. That type of thinking will keep you poor or it'll keep you on that treadmill. Because it's like, okay, 
What you're doing is trading time for money. You only have 24 hours in the day. So the best thing for you to do is create a business that leverages your time. Because right now, I'm making money while I talk to you. It may not be a earth-shattering amount of money, but it's passive income and it comes in. Currently, my passive income, what I call don't lift a finger type income, is 1500 to 1900 bucks a month. To break that down, whether I do anything or not with those assets, they still throw off cash. But it goes up and down. It's never the same thing. Some months it's more than others. Some months it crashes. But I don't have to do anything. That's exciting. Do something one time and get paid for it multiple times. Even if you just did it for um, six months. And part of my passive income journey started in the storage auction business. I would buy a unit. And I would sell the contents of this unit that I bought once, moved once, for months. I bought this unit that was so great. It was full of collectible crystal. 10 by 20, full from the ruler to the tula. This crystal sold for anywhere from 5 to 20 bucks a piece. There was thousands of pieces in that unit. We sold that stuff for about two and a half years. The unit cost me 500 bucks. That stuff was selling every month. I kept track of it. It was about three to five hundred bucks every month in the store online for two and a half years. That's kind of sort of it kind of is is not totally passive because it was a store that was cost but there's other things. But essentially, that one purchase that was moved once but continued to throw off cash for two and a half years, and I call that short-term passive income. Because, you know, the thing is, when you say passive income, everyone is thinking trust fund baby income. That you've got this trust fund, and there's millions of dollars in there, and the dividends are enough for you to live this great and wonderful life without doing anything. Okay, that's called being wealthy. That's a totally different ball game. Totally different. What I'm talking about is the passive income that you can start to develop right now, today, and for six months to a year, let's be real, six months to a year, and that's very quick for a business to start throwing off pot profitable cash, you know, a profit, that's very quick. Typically, most businesses take two to five years to get to a point where they're making a profit, and that's normal, that's not atypical, that's normal. But in this internet age, it's just like, ta -ta 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 -ta. we can do it just like that, and it doesn't work that way. But if you're dedicated, and you do the right things and you do your research because everything online changes. You can expect it. You can set your watch to it. It's going to change at some point. Sometimes it's going to change so fast your hat's going to come off. But even with that, that's exciting and it gives you more opportunity because when it's changing, there are people who are not keeping up with the changes. They're not staying on top of it and that's opportunity for you. So go ahead, check out the channel. See the things that because the reason I decided to do the passive income sensei.com blog is I'm still learning this. Like I said, this I was just kind of making plans for 2013, looking at some financials, and it just kind of jumped up. There's like do nothing passive income that was coming in every month, and it started about 19 months ago. And I trended it, and it's been going up, but it's not been like jumping up, you know, it was like 400 bucks for a while. Then it kind of moved to 500 and kind of stayed there. Then it moved to 600 and kind of stayed there. And it's just been incrementally going up, which is exciting because I'm not doing anything. And to test this theory, I did not advertise my books nor my, or, or put any videos because a part of my passive income is AdSense income because I'm a YouTube partner on one of my other channels, Glendon007. I can't tell you how much I make because you're a partner and they like don't tell people, but I did not put up a video on that channel for six weeks and my AdSense income went up. There are several different factors to that and I think part of that is because it's the holidays and advertisers are advertising very heavily. So I think that was part of it and I benefit to the advertisers. I want to say thank you. I appreciate you. But during this journey, I'm going to tell you what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, and just kind of bring you along because I think it's going to be fun and I like it. And also, it gets it gives me a chance to talk about other things that I've been interested about my whole life, like finances and investing. Like I think everyone should open up a Roth RA. 
And not for the reason that you think. Because most people do not know how to save money. And if you can learn how to save money, you will put yourself in the top 5% of the people in this country because regardless of how much money you make, you'll be okay. Alright, this is Glendon, and I'll see you in the next video. To learn more about passive income, my journey, please subscribe. One, two, three. To learn more about my blog, my journey, please subscribe to PassiveIncomeSensei.com. The link's below. There's a lot of great stuff there, and we'll be talking about entrepreneurship.